Hi Forestdale, Ranger Hannah here, and we are going to learn about animal body coverings and their characteristics. So as we go through this, I want you to see the different types of body coverings. I want you to think about why we might need those types of body coverings on different animals. And I want you to wonder about what those characteristics mean for those animals. Now to get started, I would like Jacob H. to think about different types of coverings he's seen over animals maybe in the last few days. If you've seen a dog, a cat, squirrel, hmm, those animals are covered in fur. So fur is a type of animal covering that is soft. I wonder what fur does to protect the animal. Hmm. Now animals that fly, like birds, osprey like this photo right here, they have feathers. What makes a feather unique about its body covering? I wonder. Now what about the animals that live in the water? What do they cover their body with? Not all are the same, but Lots of fish have scales. Ian, what do you notice about these scales that make that a unique characteristic of a fish? So something that's not soft like fur, not light like a feather, not shiny like a scale, shells. Shells are another type of body covering that animals have. So. Chloe, I would wonder what this shell does for this animal. Hmm. I want you to think about that. Maybe it offers protection. And Judy, did you know that frogs have skin just like us? So here we have skin as an animal covering. What is special about skin? What characteristic about skin makes it great for an animal? Mason, I want you to think about that. So as we are categorizing and putting characteristics to animals, I want you to think about their different body coverings. Maybe it helps them with movement. Maybe it helps them find a home. Maybe it helps them stay warm and keep their body regulated. So I want you to see, think, and wonder about all of that as we review animals. All right, thanks Forestdale.